Andreas Moss asked me to respond to an essay that he sent me concerning a phenomenon known as depressive realism, which uh, is, according to Wiki, a hypothesis that says that uh, depressed people have a more realistic assessment of themselves and of reality than non-depressed people do. Um, okay, uh, I would just, before I explore this, and there's quite a bit to explore here, I would ask um, a depressive realist how they decide reality. What constitutes realistic in their view of things? How do you decide what is realistic? Um, how do you decide what reality is? How do we decide, therefore, what is an accurate assessment of reality? The whole idea that reality is um, graspable in that way strikes me as totalitarian and when I say totalitarian uh, I don't mean that in a denunciatory way I just say that in a kind of a crazy way because um, to me totalitarianism is forcibly shoving a square peg in a round hole if human beings aren't up to the task of building communism on earth then all that you require is uh, more coercion, more murders, more gulags, more punishment, more motivation. <laughs> um, so, depressive realism um, presupposes that there is such a thing as realism. It presupposes that there is such a thing as an accurate and correct way of gauging reality that trumps that of others. I want someone to tell me how we can arrive at that. How can I arrive at an assessment of reality that is more accurate um, and that is sufficiently accurate to say it is right and another assessment of reality is wrong? Because that's essentially what realism is saying. I'm showing things for what they really are. Okay, prove it. <laughs>